Welcome to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. I'll be 100% completing the game, so that means a whole lot more moons to uncover. Remember to sleep well, stay hydrated, and meow it out. Enjoy. So, I've also seen real quick that there's a lot of people who know how to play this game, and they know how to play it so incredibly well, and they can get so much higher and further and, and everything with uh, their move set. Is that... What is that? Oh, is that... um? That's not the statue, right? There's definitely something over here. Whatever, whatever this thing is. Am I going the right way? Yes, over here. Uh, you are... Oh, it's a time trial. Okay, cool. Um, some people know just how to move a lot quicker, dude. They, they know exactly what they're doing. Oh, I... Oh, okay, I can. And nice. Okay, cool. They can, like, jump so much further than I can and know how to move Mario so much more efficiently than I do. And it's like, man, I really need to up my Mario game, but also, you know, it, it's, I still get the job done when it comes to beating Mario Odyssey and doing all that, you know, I got, I got the fancy-ish moves, it's nothing too, uh, too outlandish there, and that's a, that's an easy moon right there, bam, nice, so, people who speedrun this game go absolutely crazy when it comes to all the fancy moves and whatnot, I'm gonna go over here just to get these two done. Uh, like, they can jump just, like, ever so slightly higher, and the way that speedrunners deal with this game is incredible. And you will never see me try to speedrun this game. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of speedrunning, just because it seems like whenever you do one little thing wrong, it, it really just throws off your entire run. And I don't like that, you know, I have to restart the game potentially over and over again, and it's like, alright, well, I'd rather just play the game and enjoy the game for what it is, not have to worry about speedrunning everything all the time. It just seems like a massive, massive pain in the butt, you know? I'd rather, you know, just enjoy it, you know? This game was meant to be enjoyed at your own pace, and the thing with speedrunning, like I said, is if you mess up one little thing, you have to redo the entire thing all over again, you know? It's just, it's just, that doesn't seem fun, you know? It just really doesn't seem like a, a fun thing to me. I don't want to have to get aggravated doing the same, you know, five levels or one section over and over and over again, you know? Uh, I can kinda, yeah, I can just go right over here, that's fine. Not too big of a deal. And I thought I was spinning right there, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So, can I cheese it? Uh, kinda, yes, I totally can, nice. So I can do moves like that, and I can do that totally fine. But if you ever get a chance to look up somebody who actually knows how to play this game and actually knows what they're doing, they do some intense stuff, dude. Some absolutely intense stuff. Um, I feel like I've done this before. Like, in this playthrough. Oh yeah, there's a lot of coins there, nice. And never mind, okay. There's also uh, uh, the poison that got to me too. So that's cool. Uh, I don't need you for this one. There we go. Uh, oh, actually, JK, just kidding. Oh, we're fine. Nice. But I can go over here, because obviously whenever there's a, um, a platform right here, you know you're good in that regard. Now, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, I can do that. That's fine. Uh, there's this. Go over here. Yep, there it is. No, there's two inside of here, though. There's definitely two inside of here. I knew it! There we go. It just didn't connect on that very first try. Okay. So, like, it hit the sign, but it didn't go to the very top of the sign. Okay. So I was like, there's no way I... I there's, like, nothing else I could possibly get in that one section right there. But, okay. Sure. That works out just fine. What is left over toward this section? I think that's, uh... A, a Goomba? Or... Goom, not Goomba Maria. I forget her name. The, the the female Goomba. I think that's it. I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh give this a shot over here. Yes, I did the Koopa Quick races, of course. Of course I did, because where would I be without those? Ah, yes. Oh, I gotta go 7 million miles to actually get the Goomba over there. Noted. Uh, one of them is hidden, 
over here, I think. There we go. I gotta become the cactus. I am the cactus. Cuckoo kachu, right? Okay, I need the jaxi to go over here and become the cactus. Noted. All right. Well. Oh, there's two inside of here? Wow. Did I totally ignore this whole section? That's kind of odd. Usually I, uh... Oh, is it a rematch? Oh, uh, what is this? Huh. Wait, so I start off over here? What? Really? Okay. That's weird. I don't remember this. Huh. Well, clearly I should remember this, but I don't. Uh, okay, yep, there's one over there. Obviously, let's do that. No? Well, ground pound, actually. There we go. Well, there's one. The ring. Smeagol likes the ring. I can't, I can't even do the Smeagol voice, but you get what I mean. It's uh, the obsession with the ring in Lord of the Rings, you know? Not a big uh, Lord of the Rings guy, unfortunately, so I don't know much of the uh, extent of the ring, you know? Uh, and I can't go over this way necessarily. Well, that's an option, too. Is this it? Uh, that looked like a moon vaguely in the corner over there, but it's totally not. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is up over here. I getcha. Okay, one, two, three. And smack my head on the wall. That's just like how it is every Thursday in my household. Yep, that's what it's all about. Bada bang, there we go. Beautiful. Look how smart I am, man. Look how, it's almost like I played this game before. All right, there's still another one in here. Wow, okay, okay. Um, oh, you know where you know where it is? It's in the middle, back where we were before. And I guarantee you, and I don't remember for certain, but I guarantee you it's a hidden one in the sand. And we have to rumble our way through it while also dealing with those skull guys. Guarantee you that's what it is. So let's go over here. Yes, shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Here we go. All right, try to find it. I don't know where, oh, it's actually you. Just kidding, okay. I thought it might have been something else entirely different, but nope, it's just you. There we go, okay. So it kind of was that we had to do the hokey pokey and try to find a specific section to trigger that guy to pop out of anywhere. So yeah, that, that works out. Uh, lots of moons that we got today, ladies and gentlemen. We're uh, cranking our way through. It's looking real nice. I'm enjoying it, you know? Good to be back and doing a, a specific set of things when it comes to... Wait, did I really not grab this one? No. I totally did. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Oh, there's a secret... Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, is it the is it the sheep? Do we gotta get the sheep? Oh, I don't like to do the sheep. Oh no, it's not that one. That one is What is this one? It's a it's a hidden moon one, I guess. But I don't know which one specifically it is. But I'll grab the Oh well there's that one. Uh that one's over there. How do I get to that one? I gotta go to the very top, right? And I can't get to the top of the pyramid from there. Well, I can I can shoot across and whoop de scoop de and do the whole thing that way. All right, so over toward here, right? Yes, sir. Look how wicked smart I am, kid, huh? Look at that, huh? All right, so this one over here. Uh, no, the Sphinx tail is not one over there. That's good to note. And we can just boop right there. Look at that. That was easy, but not uh, easy button worthy because that wasn't really too difficult. Uh, I'm going to make the trek to, like, bring a Goomba over there and, and like, you know, flirt up that female Goomba. So that's going to take a few minutes. So I'm just going to skip to that one because as much as I'd love to talk about nothing while walking in the desert, uh, I normally do that anyways. So I'm going to... Oh, that's also one I didn't do. Interesting. So two... Goombas I did not flirt with. That is not a sentence I thought I'd ever say in my life. I'm going to do that real quick. There's one flirtatious Goomba. Excellent. Thank you. 
And as much as I uh, love to talk to you, uh, I am not who I say I am. I am a catfish. Bye-bye. Uh, and now I'm going to go for the next one. All the way across the lands. Although, hopefully she doesn't mind that I'm a bit taller than my profile has said. Which is apparently a thing. You know, as, as uh, much as I love to put myself out there on the dating market, I guess... I guess girls really like really tall guys. I'm 5'9". So that uh, that doesn't really do me any favors. Apparently six foot is the absolute minimum. Uh, hey, baby. I hope you don't mind that my profile says I'm a little bit taller than I said I was. You know. Just want to exude my manliness via my height. The weather's fine up here. Anyways, not just kidding. See ya. <laughs> hey, alrighty. Let me grab a, uh, Jaxi. The Jaxi's over here, right? Yeah. I'll grab the Jaxi, and I'll dismantle that, uh, cactus over there. Or is the Jaxi over here? Uh, yes it is. Okay. Oh, I gotta call him? That's weird. Uh, yes. Mr. Jaxi. Yes, sir. Why is the Jaxi not on standby at all times? I don't know, man. But whatever. You gotta use the Jaxi to, yeah, hit the cactus over here. Luckily, Jaxi are invulnerable to cactuses, which is great. There we go. Boom. Very nice. And I'll grab this one. I think we're almost done with the Sand Kingdom, dude. We, uh... I, I again, initially wanted to do the, uh... The Lake Kingdom, but I guess not. So I'll go over to... This section. Whatever the two that are inside of here. And then I'll probably skip ahead until I figure out what the... And I'll probably skip ahead until I figure out whichever the, uh, the inside of the pyramid is. Because that is a little bit of a lengthy section there. So that might take a few minutes. And thank you. Oh, this one I remember having a little bit of trouble with. So we'll see how far I can get with, uh, this one here. Yeah, there we go. Go right over here. Thank you. Okay. This one. Yes. Wait, no? Wait. Oh, no. I totally need to use that. Okay, cool. Noted. Wait. I believe if I wait over here, right, and then I go over here, there we go. So I have to, like, stop on that platform there and don't use, um, oh, you Cracker Jack. Don't use B to go downward because that's how you're going to use up more water than you need to. Just let gravity take you on that one. So clearly that's the secret one over there. So let me uh, do that. And also, if you can help it, do not do the, the B and A at the same time to go diagonally. Just let yourself go one direction over another. That's going to help you out quite a ton. So like we do this here and then go this way. Let ourselves fall. Go this way. Up. This way. Yes. No. Dang it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, you, you kind of have to let yourself go that way and do it in that such of a fashion. So yeah, try to be conservative with how you're using your resources there. And yeah, you, you should be fine. There we go. So yeah, like wait to use the B until you go up toward that section there. And you should be fine. You know, you should be good. And obviously that was the, uh, yeah, the secret one. So we'll go over here. Do this, no problem. Let gravity take you. There we go. Oh, that's going to be tough. Wait. There we go. Just like that. No problemo. That's what I tried to do before. Tried to bail out of it and do that that way. So those two are taken care of. So the next section, uh, unless I know where the other ones are. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's one over there. Wow, we're really getting down to it, dude. This is all of them. Yeah, let me go inside the pyramid and figure out I gotta figure out those two. I don't know what those two are. One of them is the painting, and I gotta buy the cowboy suit, and then we'll go back to the Lake Kingdom and do that whole thing here. Because there's clearly one in he Is it in here? It actually looks like it's not in the pyramid. It looks like it's down beneath here. But the entrance to the pyramid is also right down there. So, wait. Yes, there we go. I tried to pause it right there, and I took a screen cap. Oops. My bad. But then we're back over here. No, this is different. Okay, cool. No, this is the same thing. Different? It's the same. Different? It's different. Same. Why can I not speak English? All right. It's the same thing. 
So, I don't know. I thought we got all of them in here. No, it must be inside the pyramid. It has to be. Well, let me grab this one very quickly. And so, I can't figure out for the life of me where these last two are. So, I'm going to talk to my little friend, uh, Paracari up here. Uh, slash Polly, slash whoever this is. I forget your name. Hi, buddy. Uh, talk to, okay. Hidden room in the inverted pyramid. Okay, so there's that one. And then, found with Sand Kingdom art. Oh, that one I already know. He can only give two hints at a time, though, right? Yeah, or hidden... Hidden in the flowing sands? Hidden room in the flowing sands... In the flowing sands. Okay. So those are the last three, as far as I know. The Sand Kingdom art, we can come across that in Bowser's Kingdom, that's fine. In the flowing sand. Oh, it's underneath. It's all, I know where it is. Yep, it's right here. It's this guy right here, yes. Look at how that is. Mario almost becomes victim to the sand. But not quite. There we go. Ah, the, the the memory just needed to be jogged there a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Just a, just a little little bit of a knock knock, right here. A little knock knock. That's all I needed. I'm fine. I got it. I got it. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, we can go over here. So if it's hidden in the inverted pyramid, uh, I can't go that way. Hi, Peach. Glad to see that you're adventuring very nicely. I need to go down here. And a yoink. Wait. Wait. Ooh, so close. So close. Oh, no. No, that's not what I wanted. No. No. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. Oh, you know what I can... Hold on. Go over here. I'm like 65% sure I can use our... Uh, our gl Glideon, Glideon friend over here. I'm pretty sure I can utilize him, right? Yeah, I should be able to. If I'm not able to, then that's going to be a load of poo-poo, all right? Oh, I'm an idiot. There's where I go. There it is. I knew it. Like, I, I knew that there was something I was missing, including a sneeze. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, there's a couple of coins up there. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. Well, I don't know where the secret moon is. I totally forgot that there is a room right over here. In here. There's a room in here with a moon inside of it. Just like that. Totally forgot. But hey, at least I found all of the moons in this kingdom. Every single one of them is done. I have 50 coins for the Sand Kingdom as it is right now. So that is definitely enough to get the cowboy outfit as far as I'm aware. Uh, a lot of them I have seemed to have missed. A lot of the places, we only have like 60-something of all of them. So I'm going to have to go back here for sure. And get the rest of them. It's probably going to be like a big montage or something. But yeah, we totally have enough. We'll grab this. We'll also uh, change now into that. We'll change this. There we go. So we're missing... Yeah, like 17-ish. No, we're missing 18. Yeah, so not too many actually. I, I thought we were missing a lot more than that. But oh well. There's our cowboy suit. Cool. And uh... Wait, I could go right back to the... Yeah, the kingdom. Go back right up here. No, I can't. Yes, I can. We can go to the Lake Kingdom from here. That's what I meant to say. Go and get whatever moon she has and then cash them all in. So really what you could do from this point on is transport between kingdom to kingdom and stack up all your moons as they are right now and uh, relay it that way. But yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to see the Sand Kingdom have the, uh, the moons collected for us. You know, that whole... Uh, animation there, but that's totally fine. Actually, you know where I think that secret moon is? I think the secret moon is... Oh, I, it's right up there. It's right... Actually, hold on. I know where it is. It's it not down... It's not up top, rather. It's right down here. So if I go right here... It's close to here. It's definitely very close to here. 
I know it. Something, right? Something along these lines. I feel it in my bones. Come on. I should just look up the picture and find it. It's probably in my screenshots from way back when. No. Yes. Yes. Hey, look at that. Look how smart I am. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, this old brain of mine. I can do it. I told you so. I didn't I tell you so, eh? Eh? Nice. All right, let's go over here. Nope, let's go up here. Yeah, there we go. Grab the cowboy hat one, then get out of here, all right? Then I'm going to continue on my journey through Super Mario Odyssey. Of course, we are kind of relatively close to being done. Not quite as much, you know? But there we go. There's our cowboy clothes. Cowboy. I, I was trying to think of a song. Well, like, I could sing, like, Woody's Roundup. Technically, that's, uh, that's a thing. So, yeah, we'll go back to the Odyssey, cash all these bad boys in, and see how many we have in total. There's 800-something in the game, so we should be a lot closer at this point. Here comes the money. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-ching. Bam. 672. Not too shabby whatsoever. So I'm going to continue my journey through Super Mario Odyssey, including the Lake Kingdom and other smaller kingdoms. There's only a couple left and a couple of them there, so we'll see where it goes. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien, a.k.a. Wearing a Mario hat, Odyssey hat, O'Brien. I'll see you again next time for more Super Mario Odyssey soon. Peace out. Bye.